Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films computer tutorial. <laughs> finally, finally, I made partner. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I actually made partner and I want to take this uh, opportunity to thank all you guys for um, helping me out and watching my videos and stuff like that. As I present to you guys, I went ahead and took an opportunity for those of you that have Windows 7, uh, I went ahead and made a theme pack with uh, all the sounds and stuff like that that goes with skulls. Yeah, I'll put a couple of scary sounds in there to go with it. Uh, so uh, if you go to the link that I have down here in the description, and uh, you can go to that link, down, download the... Uh, um, the uh, the theme the skulls theme for Windows 7 though remember it's only for Windows 7 users um, but you download that install it and you'll have the skulls uh, theme pack on there uh, there's only one picture that's not a skull in there and it says uh, uh, geek a binary lifestyle that's the only thing that's on there not skulls if you want just go to your uh, uh, the settings in there and you can uncheck that and I'll show that anyways they'll show like every I think five or ten seconds or show a different one uh, but anyhow you go to that link and download and, uh, and install it uh, but again thank you guys I really appreciate it uh, it took me a while to actually became partners and I just want to thank everybody and if I hadn't already said thank you or thank you enough, but thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyhow, I'll uh, start trying to make more and more videos now. I know here lately I haven't been making that many videos, but um, I'll uh, start trying to make more videos and stuff. And with me becoming partners, uh, some of my videos might be a little bit more longer, but now I know I'm not going to be restricted to that 10 minute uh, time limit. Now I'm at a 15 minute time limit. Although a couple of videos I need like 15 minutes. But uh, hopefully I won't uh, have to use it that much. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, the um, screen capturing part of this video. And I'll show you how to download uh, the Windows 7. And I'm going to uh, also show you how to get one for XP too. Uh, for your XP users out there is a wallpaper changer for that. Although um, it I won't have a, a skull thing for XP, but I'll show you how to uh, download uh, the XP changer and use that. And also, uh, I'll see if we can find one for Vista as well. Uh, they probably have one. If I have one for XP, they probably got one for Vista. So we'll look and see if we can find one for Vista. And don't worry, it's going to be free. Uh, anyways, let's go to the uh, screen capturing part. Okay, this is the second part of this uh, video. This is the screen capturing part. Now, as you can see, um, I have the skull theme here, and it uh, changes about like every, I think, five or ten seconds. Pretty neat. So, I went ahead and made this, um, although maybe I should have done it before Halloween. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, it has sounds and effects to it, and uh, has a bunch of skulls on here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this thing packed. Uh, all you have to do is go down to the link that I'll have in the description. And it'll take you to uh, Mediafire. Um, okay, one thing great about Mediafire, it's not like uh, make a download or uh, or a rapid download or rapid share, whatever those called. Um, <clears throat> they don't make you wait so, so long before you can start downloading. Um, all you have to do is pretty much click here to start. Okay, and um, you can have it to automatically open up with the. Uh, uh, with Windows 7 or you can just go ahead and save the file which that's what I like to do just go ahead and save the file and uh, you can pick wherever you want to uh, want to save it at now if you don't have uh, in your Firefox setting if you don't have to where you can pick where you save at it's automatically going to be in my documents and in the download folder uh, so let's, but for right now I'm going to go ahead and download it to the desktop I already have it so I'm not going to download it so I'm going to click no uh, now, if you think this might be a virus, no, it's not. It's one that I made myself. If you like, uh, after you download it, you can go ahead and go to Virus Total, upload it to Virus Total, and you can see for yourself that it's not a virus. Okay. Um, then once you get it, you get you get the little theme pack like this. It's going to say uh, Skulls Theme Pack by DGF PC Tutorials, and all you have to do is just click on it. And once you click on it. Uh, or start doing your uh, skull things and it will change like every 10 seconds if you want to change that all you have to do is right click on your screen go to personalize 
and then go right here where it says desktop background okay and if there's any pictures that you don't want you can uncheck them okay and if you want to change pictures every like if you want to change it to like one time a day 12 hours 30 minutes and so on so on now let's say if you have XP uh, or Vista well they also have one for those as well okay now for you uh, Vista users I also got another one for XP as well but first Vistas uh, to get a wallpaper changer for them uh, now the skull thing won't work um, with uh, with this uh, wallpaper changer but uh, you can end up making your own uh, of course you can do that with Windows 7 too making your own wallpaper too uh, wallpaper changer too of course with Windows 7 you can also do the same as making your own but uh, this is for you know Vista users uh, all you have to do is go to Google type in desktop wallpaper gadget and that's basically what it's going to be it's a wallpaper gadget it's a, basically a wallpaper changer and then you go to the first link which is download desktop wallpaper gadget okay from there uh, uh, you're at Southpedia and then you just click on download and basically all this is is just a, a little uh, gadget that you can put on your sidebar uh, from here you click on Southpedia mirror Okay, from here I'm going to go ahead and click on desktop and I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, once it's there, all you have to do is click on it. It should bring up this page right here. And you just click install. And right here he is, desktop wallpaper. So we're going to click, click on that. And it should bring it up over here. And as you can see, it's right here. And then you can click on option here. Now, uh, when we click on options, we can pick where we want uh, um, where we want the pictures to come from. Let's click on this. Okay, from here, what you can do is uh, pick where you want your wallpapers to be. Uh, let's say, well, since I'm in uh, Windows 7, I'm just going to go to Family and then My Pictures. And if it's my pictures that I want it from, it will get them all from my pictures. Or if I want to pick one. I'm just going to go to my skulls wallpaper wallpapers here so I'm going to click OK now all of them is going to be there now I can uh, I can choose how I want it to be shown <clears throat> if I want to show each picture 15 seconds 30 seconds 1 minute 5 minutes um, or every 5 seconds let's say if I want every 5 seconds transition you want it to be boxed in, soccer in. It gives a little bit more uh, um, choices here. So let's just go do random. And I change that. Now I'll shuffle pictures. However, ah, whatever settings you like, um, you can pick. Let's click OK. And that should do it. It should change all the wallpapers and stuff. So uh, there's the Vista one. Now uh, let's say if we want the XP. Okay. All you have to do is go to the link that I have here in the description, and it'll bring you to the uh, Windows XP site here. And on here, um, you can go right here where it says "Download Window Photo Pack." Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, well, what if I don't want a Window Fun Pack? Well, you don't have to do the Winter uh, theme on it. You can actually put whatever theme you want on there. Um, but basically, you just go here, click on it, download to wherever you want. Now, basically, when you get this, now remember this is for XP users only. When you get this right here, uh, right here is some of the settings you can have. You can browse where you want all the pictures to come from, and uh, see include all subfolders if you want. Overwrite images on special days, um, and you know there's some other settings here. If you want to know more about it, I also have this link in the description as well. As uh, if you go to PC with uh, with kids video, and he can give you a little bit more in depth information about the XP. Uh, uh, wallpaper changer. Also go to his channel, check out some of the videos on his channel. He got a lot of uh, good technical uh, videos on there as well. But anyhow, like I said, just uh, if you want to know more about the XP wallpaper changer, just go to this uh, video here and, and he'll explain more about it. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.